Hey guys. Okay, so today we are going to be painting. But it's not going to be canvas. It is going to be a plaster ceramic. And uh, this is a building that used to be a pharmacy or back in the older times called an apothecary. So, um, I had searched all over the place to find a plaster ceramic to paint. And the regular craft stores only had uh, holiday crafts, holiday plasters. Uh, and I didn't want to paint anything that was Christmas. So, um, finally checked out one store and this was the only one they had left. Let me show you the details here. Sometimes it would be really nice to have someone filming for me. So that's what it looks like. I'm painted. Now let's go on ahead. Oh, and the back side is really cool because there's a back door, which is so neat. So let's go on ahead and get this painted. Okay, so I turned the camera around so that um, I can see what I'm doing at the camera as I'm working since I don't have a cameraman. So um, once again, I'll show you the details. We've got windows on both sides. We've got apothecary on the front. Up here is the bowl and mortar. And uh, we've got our upper stair windows, which would have been maybe sleeping quarters for the pharmacist, whatever. Storefront on the back, we have got another large window and another door. Here we have got our top roof with a false front here. So this is what we've got. Um, it is a uh, kind of a brickwork sidewalk lot, kind of a rock, rock. Uh, the back has got stairs, so I'm going to be painting those as well. Uh, we have got like a stone front and then wood walls, wood panels. So, yes, I look forward to painting this. I think I want to get the sign out of the way. That way, yeah, I won't be getting my hands with paint on um, when I go to paint the sign. Another cool thing is that I really noticed is, which you'll know later when I paint it, it has got a little sign here on the door that reads open and up at the upper part of the door is curtains. So that is really neat. It's really cool. So you know what? I need one more color. So pardon me while I dig through my tin because we need it. Um, there we go. Crimson for the curtains. There we go. On the door. Now I have chosen um, my detail brush. My very little bristle detail brush. A little bit broader of a flat brush. And then in the broadest, well not the broadest, but even more broader for um, other areas. So, um, Yes, we're going to go in ahead and get started. So, <clears throat> I had decided to use the, um, the raw umber for the door. I'm going to have to invest in um, actual gray paint. I've got silver, but I don't have gray. Because that sometimes there's some things that I need gray for. 
so I'm going to have to invest in gray one of these times. Okay, I'm going to use this brush for the overall door. I used to paint ceramics um, about six, seven years ago. I used to paint ceramics. And I enjoyed it. So I noticed that this is like a panel door. So I'm going to leave that panel open to paint it a lighter color. So that would mean that that other panel right there is a glass since it's got the curtain up there. So I will leave that bare for the glass. Perhaps I do need that silver. So I'm going to pull out that silver. I'll use the silver with a touch of white in it to use for the glass. I also need the silver for the doorknob. Or I could use the gold for the doorknob. Alrighty. Um, let's go on ahead and we'll get the the glass painted first I'll paint the doorknob I'll paint the doorknob first before I di dilute it with the white Okay. Now I'm going to add just a little bit of white to tone it down. I should have got my mixing blade here. Take about a minute for me to get it. Okay, now I'm going to um, use black and white and 
Get my black. And my white. Once again, my detail brush. There's actually, you can see little ropes that's holding up the sign in the window. Not too awful bad, but I gotta correct it a little here. So I'm going to go back to um, my silver paint and paint back over that so that we've still got our window. Okay, there we go. Still got our glass there. Okay, so I'm wanting the detail of the open sign. So this is what I'm gonna do, and I hope it works. It's an experiment, just an experiment. I don't know if it will, but I'm gonna give it a shot. So I'm getting a push pin. And I am going to get rock paint on the tip. And hopefully I'll be able to write in open. Okay, there. It does read open. So the push pin did work. It helped, but I ended up getting too much paint on the tip of it. So it, it's a little, I guess you could say they hand painted it. Instead of it being a market made sign, they hand painted it. And you know how it goes if you hand paint something. Yeah, well, it looks just like it was hand painted. Not bad though. Okay, I'm going to go on ahead and uh, get the curtain painted in. Once again, using my detail brush. So there we've got the little curtain on the front of the door. Okay, I'm thinking okay, I need to use more of the umber 
because I didn't finish this, the panel. I didn't finish the panel. Okay, there we go. So, there I finished the panel. Now, I'm going to go around the entire door and uh, paint the frame black. Once again, working with my detail brush. Okay, this is what it looks like so far. Anyway, so that's that. I'm going to go on ahead and paint the letters. Okay, there we go. And okay, now I'm going to paint the inside of the sign white. Okay, now I'm going to go back over the letters. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to paint the, um, the bowl and pastels. Those are going to be gold. We'll start with the big one up here at the top. Okay, now I'm going to paint the smaller ones that's on the sign. Okay, there we go. Looking pretty good, folks. Looking pretty good. Okay. Okay. So, and this is part one. And I will be doing a part two for you before long. And we will work more on um, the trim and get into the main colors of the building. And we'll see just what and all we can get into when we get into part two. So, um, not bad. Not bad at all.
All right. I'll see you on part two.